guys! Welcome to my channel, Books and I. I'm Mikkel, and today we're gonna do uh, two unboxings. We're gonna do Owl Crate unboxing, the adult and young adult. So I just um, opened this one and then stopped, but I haven't seen like inside. So here's the first looks, and it's Bound by Magic. This is the August edition. We're not gonna look at that too deeply. I'm just gonna go ahead and you probably like Mikhail, why are we doing August? Well I was like I haven't gotten September's or I I opened September I opened September's before I opened August because I have been letting them stockpile for a moment and then I was like, Oh yeah <laughs> And I didn't know which one which so I just cracked them open. This one is A Sorceress Comes to Call by Teen Kingfisher. I am not Falada. I am not her creature. I do not belong to her. And these spread edges are spread edges. Sprayed edges are phenomenal. Like so pretty. So here are the, the um, spread edges. It's got like butterflies, um, feathers, a goose, and like. Okay. And then we're gonna look at the. In I wonder if this is like a different version of the Swan Princess or something. And then the naked cover says, On regions, there are uses in the alchemy works that may be done with them. It says, Great chaos is unleashed when a sorcerer dies. Well, that's sad. Especially since it has like a skull of like a horse on it, which making me think that maybe the sorcerer is this um, horse that's been known in free. And then here is the reverse dust jacket. So the description says, Cordelia, Cordelia knows her mother is unusual. The house doesn't have any doors between rooms. There are no secrets in this house. And her mother doesn't allow Cordelia to have a single friend, unless you count Falada, her mother's beautiful white horse. The only time Cordelia feels truly free is on her daily rides with him. But more than simply eccentric, eccentricity sets her mother apart. Other mothers don't force their daughters to be silent and motionless for hours, sometimes days on end. Other mothers aren't evil sorcerers. <laughs> When her mother unexpectedly moves them into the manor home of a wealthy older squire and his kind but keen-eyed sister, Hester, Cordelia knows this welcoming pair are to be her mother's next victims. But Cordelia feels at home for the very first time among these people. As her mother plans darkens, she must decide how to face the woman who raised her to save the people who have become like family. That is cute. This seems like a nice, cute read. Though I'm still like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It also sounds quite a little bit boring to me. I don't know. I guess I'll have to give it a try, but I'm not too happy about it. So yeah, that's the adult one. And then this is going to be the young adult first looks and this is supposed to be hidden magic forbidden love i love forbidden love. tropes okay and then it said this is falling for shadows and then this is the sneak peek in the back so and remember in the young adult ones they have um, usually gifts and stuff in this so not it's not just a book so, first thing, and looking like a new mug or a new bowl, ceramic bowl collection, together with artist Jane LaCour, LaCour we're bringing a bit of magic of Middle Earth to your table. Each bowl in this limited collection celebrates a different iconic location from the Tolkien Lords of the Rings version. This bowl plays homage to the realm of M Mordor, inspired by Sriracha's Shadow Lair, this design features the towering fortress of Badir, <laughs> this empire range of Mount Doom. Let me tell you what, fantasy names are wild, wild, but you know, I love these uh, books. I, I have 
Mom has one of them from when we first got it. And then I have now three. Oh, this is, I know it's like supposed to be the evil tower, but I think this might be like my favorite one. Lovely. I have to take pictures of it so you guys can see it. Okay. Then we have the enamel pen. This is the perfect pairing, and this kind of looks like, um, what is that? It's a book, and it's a show that's really popular about the, uh, like, Lucifer and the angel Michael. Ohms, I think it's what it is. So this is Good Ohms. This one is based off of, based on Good Ohms by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pan. So it just has the two angels in it. That's really cute. I have never watched a show, but it's I've heard, I've heard really good things about it. Then we have this. It's like a pocket watch, or I bet you it's a mirror. Everything comes with a price. Well, then you can take this back, because I don't want to pay anything for this. Only blood can rewrite blood. Ooh. And then, yep, you can see yourself. That's actually not that bad, because it's actually quite cute. Then we have this oh it's a water bottle holder so not a not the best one i've seen and my water bottle my water bottle is too big to fit in this and honestly like if i was gonna get a water bottle holder i would want it to be like where i could carry it on my shoulder and if i had a water bottle it'd be like stabbing me in the chest so I'm not the biggest fan. If this is like one that you have to like carry, which defeats the purpose, because if I'm gonna have to carry it like this anyways, then I might as well just um, hold it myself. So if this this was longer, I think it'd be useful. I'm definitely not gonna carry it around like that, because I mean, the only good thing that would be good is water's right there, but I wouldn't. That would put too much like strain on my neck. Watch this not be like a water bottle carrier, I'm glad, but I'm fairly certain it is. Then we have something in a pouch. It says, beware, be wary, be clever, be good. And it's got keys on it. And it's a nice key. Is this the Lockhart key? Because it means the key and it's got a heart shape in. So I'm wondering if it's like the Lockhart key. That would be funny. I think that concludes... And then we have our book. This is our book. And it's really pretty. And it's called Cows Castle of the Curse. It's exclusive signed edition. So, ooh. And it's got, like, stained glass stencil edges to match, like, the stained glass that we see on here. That's really cool. So it's got like the moons on this side, then it's got like the stained glass with faces and the moons again. And it says Castle of the Curse and on the back it says no hay las in oscar. <laughs> and I think that is Latin because I definitely understand that. Then this is the naked cover. The perde de hero. <laughs> Disco que moroses. Voy Rajo Mas Poro Castello de los Sombros No He Le La Luz in Oscuro. If this is Spanish or Italian or something, I don't understand what I'm saying. So if I'm saying something offensive, I apologize. And then we're greeted with some dark in pages of a vampire and a girl looking like she's second guessing everything, all of her decisions. And then it's the same thing, but that girl now is licking his arm. So, choices have been made, and people are accepting those choices. <laughs> and then it is signed, and it's got the letter author. And then naked cover. It's very dark, and it says, Only when you sacrifice everything will you have nothing to lose. We are impossible, and that proves anything is possible. And this one is, I 
After a mysterious tax claims life of her parents, all Estella has left is her determination to solve the case. Suffering from the survivor's guilt so intense that she may be losing her grip on reality, she accepts an invitation to live or receive with an estranged aunt at the ancestral Spanish cas castle, La Sembara. I don't speak Spanish, which I'm now assuming that's what... I was reading before, so I apologize, and if I have insulted anyone, I apologize. I just don't speak Spanish. Sorry. Beneath its gothic facade, La Saburo harbors a trove of family secrets, and Estella begins to suspect her parents' death may be linked to their past. Her investigation takes a supernatural turn when she crosses paths with an enthralling silver eye vampire, only she can see. Estella worries Sebastian is a hallucination, but he claims he's been trapped in the castle. They grudgingly team up to find answers, and as their investigation nights, so does a romance, mistrust intertwined with every caress. That sounds like you, girl, you need to get away. If you can't trust him, why are you falling in love with him? That sounds stupid. Moving on. As the mysterious... Mysteries pile up. Estella suspects that everyone in the tiny town of Osaro is lying and whoever ha was behind the attack has followed her to Spain. The deeper she ventures into the Los Severo secrets, the more certain she becomes that the suspect she's chased has already found her and they're closer than she ever realized. Castle of the Curse is a delicious and dark gothic romance filled with a twist and turn that will keep you guessing until the very end. Hmm. Um, both of them don't really seem like books I would be all that interested in. I'm not saying I'm not going to crack them open, but uh, maybe not as quickly as they hope. So I do think this is a stunning book. They've done a very good job with it. So yeah. Um, shoot a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite item is. Tell me what words I mispronounced because I know I did completely, totally Berkshire, these words, and they didn't deserve that. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Tell me if you if you would read them, if you didn't read them. Tell me something that has inspired you to be. Maybe a more read. Yeah. Once again, thank you so much for watching my channel. I can't do anything without you.